In this presentation, we will take a look at multiple choice questions related to corporations. First question. Vote to declare and pay a dividend. A. Date of dividends. B. Date of declaration. C. Date of record. D. Date of payment. And E. Date of liquidation. We will go through this again using the process of elimination in order to narrow this down. Vote to declare and pay dividends. A. Date of dividend. Uh, maybe. Sounds nice. It's got the two D's in there. Sounds interesting. B says, I'm going to keep that for now. <laughs> B says, date of declaration. Again, also sounds pretty, pretty neat. Sounds like it could be the case if we're going to declare something and uh, we're declaring dividends and it's either the date of the dividend or the date of the declaration. So those two sound reasonable. C says date of record. Um, yeah, you know, it could sound reasonable as well. I'll keep that for now. D says date of payment. And that, the, the declaration date, we could probably say, hmm, even if we don't really know much, we could say hmm, that's going to be different than possibly the payment date. So I'm going to say that's probably not it. E says date of liquidation. And that's, that looks like just an answer that they didn't know what else to put there because they didn't have any more dates of dividend related type sounding things because a liquidation would mean we closed the whole company. So it doesn't sound like E just looks way out there. We can cross that one out. So we're left with A, B, and C. We'll go through this again. Vote to declare and pay dividends is either A, B, or C, either date of dividends or date of declaration or date of record. Now, of these three, I think the first two sound, you know, closest to what we're talking about. It says vote to declare and pay dividends. Either that's the date of the dividend or the date of declaration. And uh, of those two, I think B sounds most proper because it actually says in the question that we are declaring that we're going to have the dividends. So B is it. That's the final answer. And just note that when you think about dividends, there's going to be three dates. So there's the date of declaration. The date of record just means that that's whoever owns the stock at that point is going to get the dividend. If there's trading stocks, whoever owned it at the date of record is the one that's going to get paid the dividend. And then the date of payment when we actually pay the dividend. Final answer, vote to declare and pay dividend B, date of declaration. Next question. Liability for dividends happens A. Date of dividends B. Date of declaration C. Date of record D. Date of payment E. Date of liquidation So we got the same answers here. We didn't notice that same answers, but different question. Go through it again. Process of elimination. Liability for dividends happens either A date of dividends. So again, I'll, I'll keep that for now. And B says date of declaration. I'll keep that for now. Actually, from the last question, we can see that the date of dividends, if we stay consistent, is, isn't anything, right? It's the, it's the date of declaration is the proper term, not the date of dividends. Doesn't That's not really a thing. It's not really a date of dividends. Uh, C says date of record. Now that is one of the three dates. Remember there's a date of declaration, there's a date of record, and then C says there's a date of payment. And that is one of the three dates. There's three dates related to dividends. So I'll keep B, C, and D, because those all those represent the three dates that uh, have to do with dividends. E says date of liquidation, which again, that sounds just kind of out there. That liquidation has nothing to do with dividends. They just got, they didn't have anything else to put there apparently. So we're left with B, C, and D. We'll go through it again. Liability for dividends happens either B, C, or D, either date of declaration or date of record or date of payment. So when when does the, there's a liability that's happening here? Why would a liability happen with a dividend? What is a dividend? That means we're going to pay out part of the earnings that the corporation has earned to the owners, to the stockholders. So why would that create a liability at all? because there's, there's going to be some kind of bureaucratic process to do that, meaning we can't just at the same date decide we're going to have a dividend and pay it today. We have to, because it's a corporation, it's a bureaucracy, we got to say, okay, we're going to decide to pay it. Then we're going to say who's going to get paid based on whatever date, whoever owns the dividend, the 
corporate stock at that time, then we're going to pay it. So if that's the case, then the liability happens when we decide to pay it because that's when we're going to basically debit retained earnings or debit dividends, whatever, if, whether we're going to break it out as a dividend and then close it out or uh, just take it out of retained earnings, lower in retained earnings with a debit. And then we're going to credit the liability, some kind of dividend payable at that time, which we will then take away. We'll lower the liability when we make the payment here. So B is the correct answer. Final answer. Liability for dividends happens. B, date of declaration.